Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over which of the three programs, Enscape, Twinmotion, or Lumion, you should be using for your projects depending on what it is exactly that you're doing. And what I'm going to be taking a look at is which one provides the best render quality, which one is the quickest for rendering exteriors, which one is the quickest for rendering interiors, which one has the most efficient workflow, and finally, which one has the best video creating options. So here in front of me, I have three windows open, and I'm going to zoom into them in just a moment. But it's an overview of what the three interior renders look like, and we're looking at the best quality. So on the left side, I have Enscape. In the middle, I have Twin Motion, and on the right, I have Lumion. And so what I want you to notice first is just the quality of the three. You'll notice that the first two have the best quality, and the third has the least quality of the three. So if you're looking for the best quality render, the best two options to choose is Twin Motion and Enscape. But if you want the best quality of those two, you're going to be looking at Enscape. That's definitely the winner for this category. And uh, keep in mind that you could achieve way better looking quality renders uh, for each of these programs than the ones that I'm about to show you. But all these three... I did them in about five minutes. So I wasn't aiming per for perfection. I was just aiming to show you what you can do in a quick amount of time, but achieving a really nice render. And so you'll notice that uh, Enscape is gonna give you the best option for the best render with the least amount of time. So that's what this looks like. And you'll notice that the people look awesome. People in Enscape are the best all around. Like if you want the people that show up in your renders to look very realistic, almost like photographs, then you're gonna definitely wanna go with Enscape. And you'll notice that the materials look really nice too. This is some copper, it looks great. Reflections are beautiful. The, the, I didn't edit the picture in Photoshop after. I didn't mess with the um, exposure or anything or the contrast. And that's something that you could do to make it even look better. But that wasn't the goal here. The goal was just the, the program itself rendering on its own. And you'll see that it looks amazing. It looks very realistic. So this is the winner here. Second place would be Twin Motion. You'll see that the materials start to become a little bit more uh, like video game like. It still looks nice. The reflections are great. But definitely, uh, Twin Motion has to have one of the worst people in all of the three programs. They just look horrendous, these people. It's, it's almost better to put them facing away from the camera when you're going to render. But there's a lot of options to add uh, decorations to the scene, and they look very realistic. So it's not going to be as realistic as Enscape, but it's going to be uh, a pretty good competition to it. Finally, here we have Lumion, and Lumion, like I said before, you can make it look better, but it's going to be the one that takes the most amount of work to make look best, but it's still not going to compete with Enscape. So again, I'll, I'll say that once more. Enscape is going to give you the best looking result from the three with the minimum effort when you compare it to the others. So it looks okay for a quick render, but if you're trying to look for quality, definitely stay away for Lumion for interior renders. For exterior, that's another question. Now, if you want to create an exterior render, then the winner is definitely going to be Lumion. Enscape looks okay. Again, Enscape is going to be the best looking one out of the three, but Enscape for exterior renders is just going to take way too long. It's going to look nice, but placing trees is going to take way longer. It's going to slow down your computer because these trees for some reason are heavier and the trees and pretty much everything that has to do with landscape is not going to be as good as Lumion. Lumion really wins when it comes to exterior and landscaping and vegetation. When you look at Twin Motion, Twin Motion just, just doesn't cut it. The materials look dull and again, you could make it look better but it's just going to take way too long it's not worth it the trees are fine and the cars are okay people are not bad when it's outside and the sky looks all right too but when you look at lumion for example it took me pretty much few minutes to make this to add all those trees the program was running smoothly it didn't get heavy at all and it doesn't look bad I could have spent a few more minutes messing around with the colors the settings of the colors to make it pop a little bit more but I'm not totally unhappy with this result. I did it quick and it looks way more complete than the Enscape does because the Enscape, once I got to this point, I started like struggling really bad for me to put trees. So definitely if you want to create a quick, nice looking exterior render, Lumion is definitely the way to go. The reason that Lumion is so quick is because altering the land is really simple. All you have to do is under the landscape tab, you select that you want to offset the height 
and let's say we want to raise it you just click and it starts to create these mountains or hills or whatever you want to do and we can actually increase the speed of that brush or we can slow it down we can also level things out by by using this flattening curve so it's really easy to manipulate the land also you'll notice that if i for example change the height of of this part here and i'm going to raise it you're going to notice that the trees start to disappear but once i let go the trees automatically go to the elevation of that new hill and twin motion doesn't do that so that's actually why this is the winner uh beside it looks better than twin motion but this definitely is much faster for exterior renders and it's going to look better than twin motion Enscape, in my opinion, even though it looks great, it's kind of slow for detailing the exterior because first of all, you're gonna have to use Revit to create a topography map. And for those of you who have done this before, you'll know that it's kind of a messy thing to do. After you make your topography map, then you go to the Enscape window and you go to the asset library. And this library is not something I'm a huge fan of. It's just kind of sluggish. It takes kind of a long time to load up everything. And then there's these annoying tags that you have to click to narrow down your selection and that also takes a long time finally when you've gone through this slow loading list of options then you can select the tree that you think you want and then you have to wait for that to load then once it finishes loading you can actually click it and if you do enough of this it starts to slow down your program and in my opinion I don't think I want to slow down the main program where I'm working because then eventually everything is just going to be super sluggish and I'm not going to be able to design my model. So I guess an option that you could do is make a separate model for the landscape and then link that in separately so that you could render it together and it doesn't slow down your Revit as much. Twin Motion is going to work just like Lumion does when you're talking about landscape. It's just not going to look as good. So you can simply click this landscape here and then by selecting what you want to do to the land, we can either raise it and you'll see how it starts to raise like that. Or you can also uh, lower it. You just simply select it and you could uh, pick the size that you want to do. And it's just so much quicker than Revit and Enscape. But overall, it's not going to look as good as Lumion does. So if your goal is to make a quick, good looking exterior render, then Lumion is the way to go. Now, if you want to work on the quickest rendering program for interior spaces, that's definitely going to be twin motion twin motion is just way easier than revit and enscape um, and it's very similar to lumion so if you want to place some materials in the scene it's as simple as opening this option here and you can pick furniture uh, let's say home living room and then chairs you can pick the chair that you want and just like that you can place it in the scene and then if you click the object then you can easily rotate it and move it again on whichever axis you pick and that's what makes it really easy. So you could fill up a, a whole interior scene in just moments. And as you saw in the other options of the interior spaces that I rendered, uh, it's going to look really nice. So Twin Motion is a good option for quick and good looking renders. If your priority is maximizing your workflow, then definitely the best option that you're going to want to go with is Enscape. And the reason is you keep everything in one place. If you are doing one thing on Revit and then you're doing something else in Twin Motion or Lumion, like adding objects or people, then it tends to mess everything up and you're not going to have one single model, one single point where everything is located versus if you're just using Enscape, everything I put into the render is also appearing in the plan so if I cut a section for example through the kitchen that we've been rendering you'll see that everything that I've added from Enscape is showing up in all my views and that's a huge plus I don't think the models look great maybe there's a way to remove these lines I haven't really looked into it but even if you can't it's still okay because at least it gives you some sort of idea as to what objects are in the space and give you some sense of scale since everything is in the Revit model, you don't have to worry about things failing, you know, losing connection to a sink and then you lose all your progress, which has happened to me a bunch of times in the past with Twin Motion. I do love Twin Motion, but I, I have had a lot of issues with that happening to me. Now, if your goal is to make a video, you can make videos on all three programs. And Lumion and Twin Motion both have similar ways of making videos. But Lumion definitely, in my opinion, has the best video making system just because of all the different settings that you can do. So to make a movie on Lumion, it's actually really easy. You just click on the movie option and then click the first clip that's there and you just press edit clip. Once you're in this menu, all you simply have to do is pick a space that you want to start the clip at, add that as a keyframe and then move to the next point. And then again, you 
add another keyframe and you just do that over and over and over again and it, you just have to get creative with how you set up these keyframes and there's also a bunch of template for styles that you can that you can add to your videos which makes everything super cool like this option here makes this video into a watercolor so if I press play you're gonna see that now it's rendering the whole thing in watercolor it's not something that I would personally like to do but it's just goes to show you how many different effects you can add to this when you make your movies. And I've made a lot of uh, different mini movies. You can actually find some on my YouTube channel, uh, some of my first videos to get an idea. There's one that I made of a haunted house, uh, a, U a haunted YouTube house. So check that out. That was all made on Lumion and you can get an idea of how powerful Lumion is for making videos. So now that we've gotten to the end of the video, if your goal here is to create the best render you possibly could, then definitely Enscape is the way to go. And of course, remember, you can make them look way better just by taking your time. And also, if you take it on Photoshop after you're done or even Lightroom, uh, you can make these look really photorealistic. If your goal is to make the fastest possible good-looking exterior rendering, then Lumion is definitely the way to go. If your goal is to make a really quick interior rendering, but you don't really care that it's the best looking rendering you've ever made, then definitely twin motion is gonna allow you to make these renderings look good and it's gonna help you make them very quickly. Now, if your concern is your workflow and you're not really concerned with how fast you make the model now, but you just don't wanna run into problems in the future, then definitely Enscape paired with Revit is gonna be the best option. And finally, if you wanna make a video, then definitely Lumion and Twin Motion are the ones that you wanna be looking at, but uh, in my opinion, Lumion is just gonna give you more tools to be able to use to make more professional looking videos. So thank you guys for watching. I really do hope uh, you enjoyed this little um, comparison of the three programs.